mucho, poco, 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 poco. If you like true stories about sandwiches, this is a story for you. Fibber snobbers. Papa made all kinds of sandwiches for his niños. He had dos niños, a daughter and a son. La niña se llamaba Elizabeth. Elizabeth was, you might say, a very nice sister when she was nice. And when she was not nice, well, she was still Guillermo's older sister. Guillermo means William. Elizabeth spelled her name like this in Espanol. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Her younger brother was named William. In Spanish we say Guillermo. And I am going to spell his nombre for you too. Gui Gui Yer Mo so there are two niños, two kids, Elizabeth y Guillermo. And every day they played together. And if their papa made them un sandwich like this one, un sandwich de queso, they would eat it. And the next day they were always hungry again. Sometimes he made them un sandwich de lechuga. Another day papa made them un sandwich de tomate. They said, Aren't you going to put anything else on el sandwich, papá? Solamente el tomate. And papá les dijo, Just tomate today. And so Guillermo y Elizabeth ate el sandwich de tomate. The next day, papá thought and thought, What will I make my niños today for lunch? And he made them un sandwich de queso y tomate. And Guillermo E Elizabeth ate it. The next day, Papa made Elizabeth y Guillermo un sandwich de maíz. Los niños looked at it and said, uh, Papa, ¿qué es eso? And he said, That is un sandwich de maíz. You're going to love it. And they ate it, but they never did say they loved it. And then the next day, Papa made them un sandwich de well, una hamburguesa. Papa, the next day, made them un sandwich de lechuga, queso, hamburguesa y tomate. Y Elizabeth y Guillermo ate it up. Los dos niños finally became sick and tired of everything Papa was making them for lunch. Un día, they said to Papa, Papa, what are you going to make us for lunch today? Y Papa les dijo, Today I'm going to make you something muy delicioso. Well, like what? You always say we're going to like it. Today, dijo papa, I'm going to make you a fibber schnabber. What? Yes, he said, I'm going to make you fibber schnabbers. And he took out la mantequilla de maní y la jalea. He opened up la mantequilla de maní and then he put in el cuchillo and he took out some of la mantequilla de maní and he put it on el pan and Elizabeth y Guillermo watched and wondered but this looks like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich we've had too many of them oh no dijo papa this is different this is un fibber schnabber really said Guillermo oh said Elizabeth. I think this sounds interesting. Then Papa opened up la jalea and he put in la cuchara and took out some of la jalea 
and then he put it on la mantequilla de maní and el pan. And Elizabeth said, Papa, it does kind of look like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes, it does, dijo Guillermo. But Papa said, Nope, it's not. And then he took el pan in his mano and began to close el pan. What are you doing? dijo Guillermo. Yeah, what are you doing? preguntó Elizabeth. I am making, dijo Papa, un fibber schnabber, and you're going to love it. Papa squeezed el pan and squeezed it some more and then squeezed it aún más y aún más and finally squeezed it into a tight ball. And then he gave it to Elizabeth y Guillermo and they ate it and they said, This is so delicioso. Told you, said Papa. Es un sandwich muy delicioso. And they ate it up. Except Guillermo, he didn't like la corteza. So he left la corteza en el plato. But he ate the rest of his fibberschnabber. So they had fibberschnabbers for lunch many times. And Elizabeth and Guillermo said, You know, they do sort of taste like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but mostly they taste like fibberschnabbers. And they ate them until they got sick of them, which took a very long time. And Guillermo never ate la corteza.